Hi, I'm Jamie from Jamie's Cuts and Clips, and this is Cash. She is a three-year-old Samoyed, and the owner brought her to me today because she has not been groomed properly. Um, she has a lot of undercoats that are compacted in her, um, her fur, so this is going to be a very big challenge for me today. So stick around, and don't forget to like and subscribe. Cash came to me with an impacted undercoat which is um, a term for a double-coated dog that its shedded hair is getting caught in its undercoat and tangled in the top coat, causing matting. Um, so it was really tight, um, and I was not too sure if I was going to have to shave her or not. Um, I really didn't want to shave her, as uh, shaving a double-coated dog can cause the hair to not grow back the same way. So um, I was using my de-shedding shampoo here and I used uh, a lot of conditioner as well to try and loosen up those mats as much as I could um, to see if I could break them up easier and they can blow out more easily during the blow drying process. All right, Cash has been washed and dried with uh, some towels. Now I'm going to use the blow dryer on her, and we're going to try and break up as much of this impacted fur as we can while she dries. So uh, it's going to be a big jump. After spraying my D-mat spray, I started on the blow drying. Um, and this was a really long process um, due to all the mats and the fur uh, everywhere. Um, it took quite a while and I was trying to um, break up all these mats that were so close to the skin. Um, it did a pretty good job on a lot of it on her body. Um, I think the worst part was uh, just her back. Uh, all along her back it was very tight matting. Um, so I tried to spend a lot of time there, uh, using my high velocity dryer as close to the skin as I could to try and break up some of this matting.
right now, cash is dry for the most part. Um, I did manage to get some of this undercoat out, but the worst is straight along her back here. If you want to take a look, get a closer look over here, this is uh, what we're dealing with for right now. This is all just de-shedded fur that got stuck in the other fur. So I have to loosen this all up with my dematting tool to get this all out down her back. And so I'm taking my time. I'm going very slowly because this is a time-consuming process. And um, you can injure the dog if you do things a certain way or brush too much or, you know, they have sensitive skin, so you have to be careful. Um, we might not even be able to do all of it today and maybe give her a break. We'll see how it goes. Um, but, yeah, this is, she's already starting to feel better, I'm sure, with a lot of this undercoat out. If you want to look around the floor, it's all over the place. <laughs> But she's being such a good girl, very patient, and we will get through this. Oh, Cash, good girl. You are a good girl. Hold on, we're just going slow, okay? So I'm just breaking up the mats right now. That's what I'm doing. Slowly but surely. I have a feeling someone was just brushing over all this and it uh, just was got impacted and matted and this is what happens unfortunately. It's like never ending. You think you're getting it pretty good and then you just feel it again. You're like, oh, no. I know, sweetheart, I know. Use all my other arsenal of tools as well. I got my rake, I got my slicker brush. You're being so good, Cash. I know, sweetheart, I know. <laughs> So I was using all my tools to try and get this matting hair out. Um, what you see me using here right now is a dematting tool. It has sharp serrated edges that break up the mat. So you have to be careful uh, when you're doing it so close to the skin. But this tool is was very invaluable to me. Uh, now I'm using my comb to break up some more of the mat after... Um, I had loosened it up with my dematting tool. Um, so this was just a really long process to try and get all these mats out. I was using um, a comb, my slicker brush, a rake, my dematting tool, uh, my hair removing mittens as well. Um, I was just trying everything I could to uh, to get these out. And, it, and she was being so good for all of it. She was very patient. And um, she didn't seem to mind it much at all. I think she was just thankful to get all this fur off of her.
All right, I'm almost done brushing out cash, but I thought we'd take a break from that for a moment to uh, do her pads, her sanitary, and her nails. So here we go. Girl, it's the baby. Oh, the baby. Good girl. Good girl, Cash. Good girl. Oh, what? You're okay. Oh, the baby, huh? What? Oh. Oh. Oh, such a good girl. Such a good girl. Almost done, okay? Almost done. <coughs> Excuse me. But she is a really good girl and she tolerated everything. So we were able to get about 95% of her impacted fur out. Um, she'll still need to come back maybe in a couple weeks to a month to, to finish off the rest. But she is feeling really good now. And um, I'm sure she's going to be a lot cooler. So thanks for watching and don't forget to like and subscribe.